think about a more complicated PV graph. Or let's do even more complicated. Like this. Let's think about what's the work that's being done. Let's work this out step by step. First of all, what can we say about the work that's done from A to B? From A to B, is work being done on or by the gas? And how would I represent that work on the graph here? Yeah, and what region on the graph represents the work that's being done by the gas as we move from A to B? Oh, the inside of the graph. This area here? Yes. All right, that is a common mistake. Remember, what is the work? It's the total area under the curve. Okay. That means the area between the curve and the horizontal axis. The fact that we happen to have a curve over here doesn't have any effect on the work that was done when we were going from here to here. The work when we're going from A to B is still this total area over here. After all, while we're doing this work, the gas doesn't know that eventually it's going to go from C to D. So this C to D curve can't be affecting the work when we're going from A to B. If you go back in your notes, you'll see that when we were talking about the work, we said it was the area under the PV curve and above the horizontal axis. It's not the area above any other curve that we might happen to have drawn over here. So this is the total work that's being done uh, over here, this total uh, region over here. Okay. Now, what can we say about the work that's being done? So that was one of the main points I wanted to make right there. The work is the area under the curve, above the horizontal axis. Don't get distracted by the fact that there might be some other curves drawn on the same graph. They, don't, they, they do not delineate the work that's being done in that process. Okay? Now, how about the work that's being done from B to C? What can we say about that work? I was trying to draw it constant anyway. So I was trying to draw this vertically, as you saw. So that work this work should be zero. being done from C to D? Um, the line C to D and the area between the horizontal. So if I use diagonal, I think this is the area you were describing. Okay. Now is when this curve becomes important. Now this curve becomes important. So the mistake we made earlier is that when we were calculating the work done from A to B, at first we mistakenly were getting distracted by the C D curve over here, but this curve has no effect on this work over here. It just represents the work that's being done when we go from C to D. Okay, so now we're doing this work on the gas. All right, and uh, I suppose that we could stop right here at D. We could stop here at D. D could be the final position. Now the next question you're likely to be asked is, which was better, bigger? The work that was done by the gas from A to B, or the work that was done on the gas from C to D? Can't we see that from the graph, right? Because the work that was done from A to B was this total region here with the, the vertical cross hatches, whereas the work from C to D was just this little region here with the diagonals. So clearly the initial work was bigger. This work is the bigger, and this work is the smaller. So overall, if we look at the whole process from A to D, overall, did the gas do work, or was work done on the gas? Overall, from A to D, 
work was done by the gas. This is a pretty common type of problem. All the problems we've done so far have been too easy because there's only one segment for the PV curve. But when you see the, this problem on the exam, you're pretty sure to see a problem like this on the exam, they're going to give you a graph with a whole bunch of PV curves. So we need to be able to analyze each of the curves separately. So we went over each of these segments separately here. see that the work done by was greater than the work done on. So overall, work is done by the gas. Now, what area on the graph represents this net work that's being done by the gas? This is not the total work that was done in this segment because we lost some work over here. So which area on the graph would represent the total amount of work that was done on net by the gas and going from A to D? Let me see what area would that be. Right. That was the area that we were focusing on before for this work over here. Now, so you were kind of on the right track. You were on the right track in thinking there was a significance to this. There is a significance to this area, but it was not the total work done from A to B. It's the difference between the work done from A to B and the work done from C to D. Uh, so in general, if you're moving in more than one direction, the net work is just the difference of the areas. If you're moving in more than one direction, the net work is the bigger area minus the smaller area. So this region here would be this, the network would be this region here. And this would be the network that's done by the gas. Okay. By the way, one thing we could do is we could go back to A. That would make this what's called a cyclic process, where we end up where we started. But what's the work that's done from D to A? So that wouldn't change any of our results. It doesn't matter whether we end up at D or whether we end up at A, the works would all be the same. Um, the work, the network would still be this region over here because there isn't any extra work done on this segment. Okay, so now let's say that we're going from A to B to C to D again. What can you say about the work that's done from A to B? Good. One thing I should have been doing here is putting in arrows to show the direction we're moving in. Even though I already said off to the side we're going from A to B, it still helps to put arrows on the PV graph as well. Good. And what region on the, on the graph here represents the work that's done on the gas from A to B? Um, the entire region uh, in between the horizontal line and the line. The and the AB curve. curve. Yeah, that's exactly right. The total area under the AB curve over the axis, we should completely ignore this little segment over here for the time being. This little segment's not gonna have any impact when we're just focusing on the A, B segment. Good. Uh, make up a number, what would be a good number for this work? Anything you like. Okay, we just made that number up, but that's a good number. All right, now how about the work that's done from B to C? Make up a number for this. 15. I'm sorry? 15. 15? Seems good. How about 30? Can we say this is 30? Um, if we stick with this number? No. Yeah, well, how do we know this can't be 30? It's a smaller area. Yes. Yeah, how can you tell by looking at the graph? Just by looking at the graph, because what's the work that's done from C to D? It's this area, right? Now this area comes into its own. So just by looking at the graph, of course, we don't know the numbers are really 25 and 15, but we know for sure that this number is bigger than this number because this area is bigger than this area. And this is the exact type of interpretation that what you'll be expected to do on these types of problems. Okay. All right. Uh, and then we said we're going to end up at D. So what can you say about the network that's done from A to D? Let's get rid of the numbers here. Well, let's yeah, ignore the numbers for a second. What can we say about the network?
would it be on or by the gas? Um, work on minus work by the gas. Overall, is work being done on the gas or by the gas? Work on the gas. Because we know that the work done on segment is a bigger area than the work done by segment. You could focus on the work done by the gas on that, but that would be a negative number, so it's easier to focus on the work done on the gas. Okay. And with these numbers, what is the work done on the gas? Ten. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could say the net work done by the gas is negative 10 joules, but it's much simpler just to focus on the work done on the gas. And it doesn't really matter whether we ended D or ended A. Because if we went this last segment, that wouldn't change anything because there is no work done along this last segment. So the network would still be 10 joules even if we finished up the day.